it's your girl CC back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I hope you see something today that inspires you to subscribe. If you're already a family member, welcome back, fam. Grayson came in the door yesterday like, where are the sweets? And I made him muffins, but those wasn't cutting it and they weren't sweet enough for him. He has a sleepover tonight, so I am sending him off with some homemade apple cinnamon rolls. Y'all know we bought a whole bunch of apples at the grocery store. We got to use them up, but we got them at a good price, so I'm not even mad. So we made him some apple cinnamon rolls for him and his friends. If you want to see how I made these, stay tuned. So to my pan to start, I'm going to put my saucepan on medium. I'm going to add a half a cup of milk and three-fourths cups of water. I'm going to add a half a cup of brown sugar to that. Four tablespoons of butter. And last but not least, a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to let that come to like, not a boil, but warm up and melt down the butter. So that's the goal is to get the butter, the milk warm and the butter melted. So yeah. I don't have hard white, so I'm using hard red, but I'm going to do, and this is a hard red spring wheat, so I'm going to do, and I need 400 and, 465 grams. So just to let y'all know how much that is, approximately, this is a half a cup. It's 100, so we're gonna need about two cups, two and a half, two and a quarter cups, or two and a half cups. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I did two cups of the hard red, and then I'm gonna do the rest because I don't have hard white, but I wanna give it some variation. I'm using spelt, um, and I'm just gonna do maybe a half a cup to get us to 465, another half a cup, so like two and a half cups. Slowly. Okay, so not even two and a half cups, like two and a quarter cups. We have 466 grams, but that's good enough. So let's go ahead and meal this up. Um, yeah. So we're working in the anchor room today. I am going to pour this mixture into my mixer. So. And then I'm just gonna turn it on, on low. This should give us three and three fourths cups of flour. And we're just gonna add it. Slowly. Gonna turn the speed up a little bit. I'm gonna add in a teaspoon or a tablespoon of vanilla. and two eggs. So once it's all mixed together and you don't see any wet spots, you're gonna let it rest. I'm gonna let this rest for 15 minutes. Okay, so to our mixture that looks like this is rested for 15 minutes. I'm gonna add one pack of um, rapid instant yeast, rapid rise instant yeast. And I'm just gonna mix it until it's incorporated and knead it. So, till it like forms like a dough. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We have been kneading for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. 
Um, we're just going to check the dough to see if we are ready. And it's not quite ready, but we're getting there. So I would say trust the process because at first it wasn't looking too good, but I'm getting used to using freshly milled flour. So I'm going to let this knead for about five more minutes. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can hear me. Okay, so we have kneaded for about 20 minutes. I'm getting ready to check it. Let's check it. Definitely trust the process. And this is giving me what I want. So now that it's all mixed up, I'm just gonna let it rest for about an hour and double in size. Um, and then I'll come back. I'm gonna take everything out of the bowl and let it rest. Set a timer for one hour. All right, so we are good to go. See y'all in an hour. So if you watch my channel, then you know that I bought like eight pounds of apples yesterday and I made apple muffins last night. However, I'm gonna make these cinnamon rolls, apple cinnamon rolls. So trying to use up these apples the best way possible. Don't know what I was thinking, but baby, we gonna get it done, so. Now our apple is peeled and sliced and cored, and we're just gonna chop it up. You gotta taste your ingredients and make sure they're good, but quality. So I put all the apples in a bowl for my filling, and I'm just gonna, I have this buttery cinnamon roll seasoning from Flavor God. I'm just gonna add it in there. I'm not really measuring, but I would say about a quarter cup, half a cup. And I'm just gonna mix that up and make sure it's all coated. I'm gonna set that to the side and we'll be back. All right, everybody. It has been like 50 minutes, almost an hour. I cannot wait any longer. Our dough has doubled in size. So, Onto our mat, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. I lost my cameraman, so we'll see how this goes, but I'm gonna add a little bit of oil so we don't stick. Rub that in. Grayson is getting ready for his sleepover, so I'm trying to get these done so he can take them with him, but chances are I'm probably gonna take them over there and drop them off so I can go be nosy and check on my baby anyway. This is his very first sleepover. So I'm really anxious and nervous, but I know he's in great hands. So we're gonna take our dough out. I'm gonna press it out. This is four tablespoons of room temperature butter. And I want every bit of it, and I do mean every bit. Um, I'm gonna spread that, watch out too. Are you excited for your sleepover, buddy? Yeah. I told him you were going to a sleepover. Huh? I told them you was going to a sleepover. Really? It's your first sleepover. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? What are you excited about? To my friend, my friend, friend. I know he's your best friend. And I get to sleep with him today. You get to play and sleep at his house? Yeah, and wake up in the morning and my mom's gonna pick me up. Wake up in the morning and your mom's gonna pick you up. You are absolutely correct. In the little bowl, I'm just gonna make the mixture. So 
I'm just gonna add a little bit, ooh, a little bit of cinnamon. Pixel. Some more of that buttery cinnamon roll seasoning that's on our apples. Some nutmeg. brown sugar I'm just gonna mix that up now this might be a little bit much I don't know but we're gonna see if you're just making plain cinnamon rolls you can stop there but y'all know we're trying to use these apples y'all know we're trying to use these apples so mm -hmm. I'm gonna sprinkle these apples in. I think that looks pretty, 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 pretty good. Let me rinse my hands off. And then you're just gonna roll it. A big cinnamon roll? It's gonna be a big cinnamon roll in the beginning. Oh, it's gonna be a really big with all the dish. You can make this for Brando. And you, you and Brando. And her mom and dad and mm -hmm. grandma. It's sticking a little bit, so I'm just lifting as I'm rolling. Well, hoping that that kind of helps. And I'm pulling back to create a little bit of tension. Oh, my pineapple bar. It's an apple. Apple bar. It's three hours to all no. All right, so I am going to cut where I think it's half. Oh my God, that's enough. And actually, let me go ahead and get my pan. Now, Tootie is leaving to his friend's house, so I'm going to send him with one in this pan. I'm going to send it baked in this pan. Probably fit like four because I want them to touch. And then I'll probably bake four for the house. And then I'll put another four in the freezer for another day. Well, I guess we going to cut them in four. So, voila. So we can fit more than four. So that's what that one is gonna be. Not very good color. What? You're not a very you're almost very good cutter. I'm not a very good cutter. You're almost. You be your own kids, baby. No, I said you're almost a very good cutter. Be your own kids. I'm gonna put these in my USA pan. So let me go ahead and chop that off right there. And another USA pan. I have been absolutely loving these USA pans. If y'all don't have none, get you some. And when I say it, don't nothing stick to it. Don't nothing, nothing sticks to it. I love that for me. So these are gonna be the ones we bake up today. These little ones are just going to go in the freezer for another day. So what I'm going to do is cover these in foil and go ahead and let them go in the freezer. When I'm ready to bake them, I will pull them out, let them come to room temperature, rise, and then stick them in the oven. These I'm going to cover up and let them rise for 20 minutes while I go take Tootie to his... Um, Where's the party? It's not a birthday party. While I go take Tootie to his sleepover, and then we'll come back and bake them. So I'll see y'all when I get back. Okay, so it's been an hour. They have doubled. They're touching now. I'm going to bake Grayson and his friends up regular. I'm going to bake mine up TikTok style. So I got a little bit of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to pour that in the bottom. The oven is on 350, so I'm gonna bake these for about 20 minutes. But while they're baking, we're gonna make the frosting. So let's go put these in the oven.
Look your bitch up Set our timer for 20 minutes. And let's make this frosting. Right, see? I'm gonna measure it out for y'all. I'm gonna measure it out for y'all. Yeah, we're gonna do a whole cup. A cup of powdered sugar. A half a stick of cream cheese. Let me chop it up. A splash of vanilla. Now this will change your color to a little bit brown tinge. So you can use clear vanilla if you have it or if you want to. I have it, but it's not that serious to me. And then we're just gonna turn it on low. I'm gonna add just a splash of milk at a time. I'm using heavy whipping cream though. Check your consistency. The consistency is still a little thick for me, so I'm just gonna add like a splash more and then we're gonna be done with the frosting. But that's it. I'm gonna let that run for a little bit and we'll be back. And just like that, it's been 20 good minutes. These baked up so pretty. Okay. So we got to 190, so we know we're done. Put a little frosting on these bad boys. For our freezer ones, I went ahead and wrote the instructions on there. But I'm just gonna put some frosting in here. And then I wrote myself a note that the frosting is inside so I don't just stick this in the oven. Pills very who, baby. So now we can top ours for the house. All right, y'all. Now it's time for the taste test. So I am going to limit myself to a half of one, but my teenage monster says he wants a whole one. So I'm gonna make sure he have a whole one. And his dad said he's gonna have half, my other half. So I'm gonna taste the cinnamon roll by itself. It's soft. Mm -hmm. It's the one and not the two. Yes, absolutely yes. Mm. Two thumbs up, for sure. But don't just take my word for it. Let me get everybody else's opinion as well. Try another piece to make sure. You need to make sure quality mm -hmm. control. That's good. Take my word for it. This is good. Let's see if Gaby Baby likes it. That's it's the one. Good. That's the one. Um, yeah, it's good. All right, y'all, so don't take my word for it, but definitely make this recipe. The boys loved it. It is Chapman Household approved. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you saw something today that inspires you to subscribe. If you make this recipe, comment down below. If you're milling your own flour, comment down below. I love to have a conversation with you guys in the comment section. Talk to me because I talk back. With that being said, y'all already know the drill. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mama them, tell your daddy them, tell your sister them, tell your brother them, tell your auntie them, tell your uncle them, tell your cousin them, tell your friends them. Tell all of them 
To get on over here to CC's World TV, we got a lot going on and you don't want to miss it. I will see you guys in the very next video. Toodles noodles!